Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic week. This will be part two slash the finale of my Halloween haul for this wonderful 2018 season. I do believe all the stores have finally set their Halloween section, so I've hit everyone I wanted to visit and I have completed, completed my collection of items I have bought this year. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. The stores that had the best stuff, in my opinion, so if you are a little tight on time and can only visit a couple stores this year, or you want to kind of avoid stores that may not have very good items, I would say the two to go to for sure are Michael's and Cost Plus World Market if you are also looking for those kind of items like myself. In this video, I have hit up Fred Meyer, I have hit up Pier 1, then Target, and lastly Cost Plus World Market, so that is the order I will show the items in. So let's begin the very last of my Halloween haul. At Fred Meyer, I found two lovely things that I will be showing you guys. One of them is a pillow. I got two matching pillows. Uh, they have a bunch of different designs for these. I got the one with the lovely bat design on the front and then surrounding the bat is a filigree floral pattern. Uh, they had ones that had just a skull on it. They had ones that are more of a rectangular shape if you don't like the square shape that had um, a more a Ouija board style, so it said Happy Halloween on it, and it looked kind of like a Ouija board. I can't remember the last one. I think it had a raven on it or something of that sort, but they're all very, very cool. But if you know me and you can see by the background, I love bats, so I got the bat one. These are really cool pillows because they're designed both on the front and the back, so if you have a particular style in your room, hopefully one side will match what you're looking for better. But on the back, they have a more floral skull design, and it I like it because it does look more like those vintage style um, floral botanical pieces of art, so I do like it. I just like this side better, but if you do like the opposite side, they had matching plates that also had this skull floral pattern. The second thing I got from Fred Meyer were these bowls. I got four of these bowls. I thought they were super adorable. This one was $6.99. I don't remember the price of the pillow. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I think they were $14.99. I may be a little off, but around $14.99 for the pillow. Then back to the bowl. <laughs> the bowl, again, was $6.99. It's a fairly okay size bowl. Um, enough to hold a little something in it. They had a variety of designs, but of course I picked up four matching ones that had the bats on it. They had ones with skulls as well, but I like the bat ones. Then all the way around the rim is this gold detailing at the top, and then all the way around it has gold bats that match the same shape as the bat on the pillow. The nice thing about these is I have yet to find very many bowls. I only ever see Plates, like dining plates, appetizer plates, and then mugs. I don't know why that is, so it's nice that I could actually find bowls for once. So thank you, Fred Meyer, for actually having a collection of bowls with all your other items. That's all I got from Fred Meyer. Let's move on to what I got from Pier 1. I only got one thing from Pier 1 because, in my opinion, their stuff was a little more quote-unquote cheesy. If you do like what I also like, you may want to skip Pier 1. Mainly, I just got this candle. It was on clearance. I don't know what they called it. Oh, they called it wood smoke bourbon, but it does smell kind of like the fireside scent that they sell at uh, Bed Bath and Body Works. Sorry, I get to Bed Bath and Beyond and Bath and Body Works mixed up sometimes. But this was originally $9.99 and I got it on clearance for $5.41, I think was what the clearance price was. I think it smells delicious, like I said, kind of like the fireside or s'more, not s'more, marshmallow fireside, whatever that one is, um, from Bath and Body Works. This is what this one smells like. Moving on from Pier 1, let's go to what I found at Target. Their one spot section at Target was mwah. It was great. There was a ton of things you could find, things that I didn't expect to find that I thought should have been 
priced higher, but you know, I'm not gonna complain about that. Let's like, hope it doesn't break after like two times. But if you go back to their actual Halloween section, that's where I was like, wah, wah. it wasn't that great in my opinion. A lot of it seemed really cheesy to me or was similar to what they had years prior. So it was a little sad because Target had been doing super du duper well in my opinion the past two years for items you could find there. But this year, I'm not really sure what happened. I also didn't go to a super Target, so they might have more options at a super Target versus a regular Target but I didn't find much. I'll show you the things I found in the one spot section and then I'll show you the things I found at the back, which is only one item. So a lot of the things I found in the one spot section were DIY related. So um, you'll see those in a future DIY video. I promise, I promise I'm gonna do a DIY video. I swear, I'm not gonna forget about it again. I'm gonna do it. So be prepared for multiple DIY videos in the future. I just gotta get my schedule together. I've been working and I've been confused by my schedule changes and um, yeah, I also wasn't expecting to find a job so soon, so there's also that. Anyways, the first thing that I found in the one spot section was this broom. I didn't see any other ones, so I don't know if they got picked over pretty quickly. I kind of found this shoved in behind other items, but I really, really liked how they designed it. I like how the broomstick handle is kind of all jagged and weird. It looks like a stick. It looks more just eclectic and eccentric. Then the broom itself is just a black kind of like sparkly wicker. And this was only $3. So I'm probably just going to hang this up somewhere in my room. I think it just looks pretty as is. Here are the more DIY items that I'll be using. Um, here are some just pack of four sparkly pumpkins. They had a different variety of pumpkins as well. I just liked these sparkly, sparkly glittery pumpkins. Um, these were $3. Edgar! The next couple of things, again, are DIY related from the one spot section. I got this six count pack of, um, what's it called? The like the laundry clips that you can hook on. I forget what they're called. I'm spacing out right now. But it's a pack of six black glittery ones that are a dollar. I also got more of this twine. I got something similar last year. I just like having this black and white twine. You never know when you can use it for something. It's cuter than just using like black yarn. This was a um, dollar. And then I also got this, it's, they call it table scatter, so it's confetti. But I'm not gonna use it as confetti. I'll find a different use for it. But it's just a bunch of black confetti bats and I'm super excited about it. I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for yet, but I'll definitely find a use for it. I keep forgetting this was in the one spot section, but this is just a black cauldron that is $5. It's ceramic, so it should be pretty sturdy. Can I hear that? Fun noise. Did say anything? Ugh. Okay. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is not dishwasher or microwave safe. Then the last two things I found in the back where the Halloween section was, um, the other things I guess could technically be in the one spot section because they're only $3 a piece, but this was just in the back where the Halloween stuff is. But they're these little hands. I'm definitely gonna be using these for a DIY. Haven't quite figured out what yet, but I thought they would look cool like this, clasping something in them, or maybe have one on one side for a bookend and one on the other side for a bookend. I'll figure it out and you'll also figure it, see what I have tried to use for these in a DIY video, but they're also fun. And I'm glad that they had a left and right hand so that way you would just have two of the same hands. So thank you Target for thinking ahead about that. In case you're wondering, these can go indoors or outdoors. So if you want to use them to put in like a spider web for outdoors, you can. And the very last thing I found at Target was this little, <laughs> I say little, it's quite big. This skull. It's one of those bleeding skulls, so I can't wait to light it up and hopefully I can catch a video of it so you guys can see it bleeding. But they have it has a little hole in the eyes right here, so that way when you light it, I'm guessing the wax will drip easier out through its eyes, which that's pretty exciting. I do think it's cool how they made it like a purple metallic, however it does scratch off pretty easily as you can see on his chin, or maybe you can't see that, but Believe me, it's <laughs> there's a piece missing on his chin. He's gonna melt anyway, so like that really matters all that much. But just be wary, don't throw, throw him around too much, otherwise all the purple will scratch off of him. And this was $10, kind of expensive, but it is a really, really cool candle. Those are 
all the things I got from Target. Now let's move on to the final, final place, which was Costco Plus World Market, which was my personal favorite place to go to find the Halloween items. You can also find a lot of this stuff online at cosplusworldmarket.com or worldmarket.com, whatever it is. I'm sure I'll link it below so, you, so, so you'll know, so you'll know where to find anything that I mentioned here that you can buy online. Let's jump into it. So this is not part of the Halloween section, but I thought it was cool. It is what I'd like to refer as butterbeer, but I can't call it butterbeer, so they're calling it Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. Which we all know, butter beer is essentially just a butterscotch cream soda. And I've been to Harry Potter World and I've tried their frozen butter beer. And I've never tried their hot butter beer, only tried their frozen. But this does taste very, very similar to it. Obviously, it's not in an icy type form, so it does taste slightly different. But it does taste quite similar to the butter beer you can find in Harry Potter World. I'm debating whether or not I want to keep the bottle because it is a very, very cool bottle. So, well, we'll see what I do with this. Oh, and um, in, case, in case you want to know the price of this, it's $1.49. And it's non-alcoholic, in case, in case you did not know. Non-alcoholic, so anyone, no matter your age, can drink this beautiful soda. Next, I just bought a bunch of breakable things at Cost Plus World Market, so luckily they are very, very kind to your breakable items there. They wrap them up very nicely. I'm gonna do some digging. Enjoy my wonderful ASMR again. Hi, how are you? I got four of these beautiful cups. They are not microwave or dishwasher safe, so they're hand wash only. It looks kind of like a gate and it has skulls on the top of it and also on the bottom. I thought this design was very, very unique, very, very cool very gothy. And they had this design also in tea towels, so if you want matching tea towels to your cups, they have those. They also had this design in a doormat. So they have this design and lots of different options for you if that is something you would so choose. I got these tall tumbler glasses, but they also had short glass ones as well. They were all the same price, the price being $4.99 per glassware. So I think that's a pretty reasonable price. We are down to the last two items I have bought from World Market. They are both mugs. Surprise, surprise! Uh, I have a mug hoarding problem. So if I have a party and everyone wants a hot beverage, I got you covered. So the first mug that I found online that I really wanted, and luckily they had this also in stores when I went, is this really cool skeleton mug. It reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean a lot because of the whole scene and the ride and in the movie where all those pirates that are skeletons are doing things together so all these ones are playing instruments together which i thought was pretty adorable i also really like this it looks kind of like a vanilla bean ice cream but it's like white with like black speckles all throughout it and this mug was 5.99 and it also is microwave and dishwasher safe so you can stick this in the dishwasher for easy cleaning then the final mug that i got from Cosmos World Market is this one. They had this one in a variety of designs. They were all vintage inspired. This one was the one I chose. I really like how it says, A Merry Halloween. And for reason, back in the day, they put a little apostrophe in between the two E's. I don't know why. I don't know why we don't do that anymore. So let someone explain who knows Halloween history. It has a little cat and a spooky pumpkin, and the pumpkin has some jagged teeth. I like how the inside is just straight up black and they included that black on the rim of the mug. It's very, very cute. And this one was also $5.99, and you can put this in the microwave. It does say it could get hot in there, but you can, and it's also dishwasher safe, again, for easy, convenient cleaning. Mugs, I love mugs. That is the end of the Halloween haul for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what all I collected throughout this season. Again, if you guys have bought any cool stuff or found really cool stuff wherever you have shopped, please share it with me either by making a video and tagging me in it or if you make an Instagram post or something like that, um, please share it with me. I'd love to see what you guys find and what is your style for the Halloween stuff that you like to buy to decorate your house year round with.
as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching me. I apologize that it's been two weeks again. I fail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I gotta go do some stuff before I have to go into work tonight. So, in conclusion, I'm going to leave. But, hope you are having an awesome yet spooky week. And I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully next Friday. Bye!